Fidelity president files for new Bitcoin funds, so putting their money where their mouth is. Fidelity president and director, um, digital funds, Peter Juber, Huber, today filed paperwork with the uh, U.S. SEC, our Securities and Exchange Commission, informing the regulator of a new fund dedicated to Bitcoin, the previous unknown Wise Origin Bitcoin Index. I remember this from, from a while ago. They said there's this new Origin Bitcoin, there's a new Wise uh, Bitcoin Index Fund. They don't really know about it. It was supposed to have like, was it half a million, a couple million? I forgot. But now it looks like uh, this was incorporated this year and is being run from the same Boston headquarters where the investing giant manages 8.3 trillion in customer funds. That's a lot of money. The firm recently published the result of a survey of 800 institutional investors from the U.S. and Europe, finding that 36 of respondents were already invested in digital assets, 60% said digital assets had a place in their portfolio, and this was uh, from Fidelity themselves, uh, where they actually did the survey. And they've got a lot of people to pull that survey into, so good information. And I think it's just... That's the thing. When you have access to all this data and analytics, you can kind of make a pretty good choice. It's like a story we covered a little bit ago, MicroStrategy. Uh, they do a lot with data analytics. And what they did was their CEO came out and they said, hey, we, we just bought 21,000 plus Bitcoin. Uh, this was just this month. And it valued at around 250 million. Uh, they now own 0.1% of all Bitcoin. And the CEO said, hey, Bitcoin's digital gold. Harder, stronger, faster, and smarter than any money that has preceded it. And he didn't beat around the bush. He wasn't like, well, it could be this or it could be that. He came out and said it. So remember, uh, all these high-level uh, institutions and all these different corporations, they have a lot of data analytics. And they're looking at things that you and I are not privy to. And I just think, why don't I just you know, jump on the coattails, see where it leads me. And how to finish up, this is the latest development in Fidelity, showing the seriousness with which it is taking Bitcoin as an asset. A year after becoming one of the earliest institutional supporters of Bitcoin in 2017, when Fidelity CEO Abigail Johnson publicly said she'd been mining the asset, the company formalized its interest with the launch of Fidelity Digital Assets. And this is the story I totally forgot about. Fidelity, a trillion asset under management, they're like, oh yeah, we're mining Bitcoin. Can you imagine? Just imagine, just, just, just think back if we could just remind ourselves of these big, huge entities. And they're like, you know what? We're mining it because we think it's going to be awesome. It's not like they're out there mining some random nonsense stuff or investing in something random. They're like, this is going to be big. We're going to go big. And only makes sense. The following year in 2019, the New York Department of Financial Services granted Fidelity a so-called bit license, allowing it to run a variety of crypto businesses. So again, they were one of those that got a bit license. It's all about who you know. That's just me. All right, so that's it for that section. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, we're going to jump into Q and C of the day. Just so you know, I want to ask you a question. I broke down and finally got some uh, Apple uh, AirPods instead of the wired approach, but uh, I'm not for sure if the audio is that great. And that's the reason why I was using the wired ones, because the audio was always good. So I'm, tr I'm trying these, these new AirPods out. If the audio sucks, just say, hey, the audio is not that great. Go back to the wires. Let me know in the comment section. Then let's, uh, let's jump in.